All right, let's talk about my views between toe socks and regular socks for hiking and why I've made the switch to toe socks. So as some of you that follow me know, I've been pushing myself harder lately by doing higher mileage days. And with that also comes foot issues like blisters and athlete's foot. So my solution was to give toe socks a try. And honestly, it's been a great transition for me. So let me go over some of the pros and cons of using toe socks. So now the pros are gonna be reduced friction between the toes to help prevent blisters. This is a big area for me because it was always my second toe rubbing against my big toe where I was always getting a blister. Next is gonna be moisture control. And because each toe is wrapped in a sweat wicking material, it's gonna help keep the toes drier and helps prevent athlete's foot. And lastly, allows toes to splay, giving better stability and more comfort. So now for the cons. Putting these things on is like trying to get a toddler dressed. Um, you have to take your time to get each toe to line up and make sure you get them all the way in. And honestly, that's about the only negative thing I have to say about them, other than feeling weird at first, but I quickly got used to them. So now a tip for you when you're looking at toe socks is to watch the sizes closely. Now this is definitely an area where I can say you get what you pay for because cheaper socks are gonna have such a large span of foot sizes they cover, some as much as five sizes, and if you're on the large end of that spectrum, you may be left with toe ends being a little too short to fit your toes. So if I use my, um, my Njinji's for example, and these are definitely not on the cheap side of things, they have sizes that go from small to extra large, and each size covers only two to two and a half foot sizes, so I feel like that's gonna give you a much better fit. So now if I give you an example here, like these cheaper ones are a they go from size six to size 12, and I'm a size 11. These are from 11 to 13. So these are gonna have such a closer fit, they're more exact to my foot than what this is. These are a real snug fit, they work, but like I said, they're a little on the snug end because I'm on the large end of, of that spectrum. Now, as far as my experience using these, it's been nothing but great. Um, using the, uh, the regular socks, I was always getting that blister in the toes I talked about earlier, and the sweat between the toes is always something I had to keep an eye on so I wasn't gonna get athlete's foot. And I can say that with using these, my toes are blister free, and that's even after doing a 32 mile challenge day hike. And I'm actually starting to wear toe socks, not just for hiking, but for my daily use. I actually find them that comfortable. All right, down below, drop me a comment. What type of socks do you prefer? Are you a toe sock wearer? Are you a regular sock wearer? Have you tried these and didn't like them? Are you willing to try them? Let me know. And make sure you also hit that thumbs up button for me, as well as, as the subscribe button. It definitely goes a long way and helps me out. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.